And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 13th of February, 2021. It was on this date, 1633, Galileo Galilei was brought to Rome to face charges of heresy for teaching that the sun and not the earth was the center of the universe. He had studied the work of Copernicus, the Polish astronomer who'd put forward the theory that the earth was not even the center of the solar system. Galileo was found guilty of heresy, ordered to recant, and he did. He said, I abjure curse and detest the aforesaid errors and heresies and swear that in the future I will never again say or assert anything that might furnish occasion for a similar suspicion. It's the birthday of the mystery writer Georges Cheminon, Belgian, born in Liège, 1903, wrote over 500 novels and short stories, many of them featuring the detective Jules Magrette, who enjoyed fine wine and his wife and solving cases by pondering human nature. Cheminon could write 80 pages a day, sometimes finish the draft of a novel in 10 days. He said, writing is not a profession, but a vocation of unhappiness. I don't think an artist can ever be happy. It's the birthday of the religious historian Elaine Pagels, born in Palo Alto, California, 1943, author of the Gnostic Gospels, and especially the Gospel of Thomas, which says that Jesus is the one who reveals the divine light that brought the universe into being, and that you and I also reveal that light. It's the birthday of the painter Grant Wood near Anamosa, Iowa, 1891, known for the portrait of a farmer and his spinster daughter, American Gothic, which, along with the Mona Lisa, is one of the most familiar paintings in the world. Grant Wood grew up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, went to art school in Minneapolis, then Chicago, went to Europe, where he saw the work of Jan van Eyck, the 15th century Flemish painter and was influenced by it. It was in homage to Van Eyck that Wood painted those stylized fields and rolling hills of Iowa, those lit scenes with long shadows. And it's the birthday of the first man to travel faster than the speed of sound, Chuck Yeager, born in Myra, West Virginia, 1923 on this day, a fighter pilot in World War II who became a test pilot in the Air Force flying the rocket-powered Bell X-1 airplane. October the 14th, 1947, he broke the sound barrier, though he had fallen off a horse two days before and broke a couple ribs, but he didn't tell anyone about that. He went up in his plane to an altitude of 45,000 feet, did what he was supposed to do, and 14 minutes later, he was back on the ground. Here's a poem for today by Joseph Mills entitled Turning. My friend's kid runs the sideline, gets a pass, turns and scores with a kick to the near post. It's how the play should go, but at this age rarely does. My son sprints to him, arms up. They high-five and celebrate a moment, then turn to jog back to their positions. Last year, they would have hopped round madly, twirled, fallen backwards, and rolled in the grass. This season, they're serious. No more skipping, no more acting sweetly goofy. Now they turn towards one another rather than towards us. No more checking that we've seen. But we have. We know the score and what's lost as they try to turn themselves into men. Turning, a poem by Joseph Mills from his collection This Miraculous Turning, published by Press 53 and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.